Hey everybody, Eric here from Around 2 at RC, and we're out at Horizon Hobby today with my new friend John. John, how you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you. He's one of the product developers with the 350QX. That's correct. And uh, we've actually got one right over here that we're going to try out today. Now, John is going to try it first, and then he's going to give me the sticks. Okay, sounds good. All right, so let's see what happens. So we're going to start off in smart mode, uh, throttles all the way down. Do a left-right on input on the uh, rudder to start the propellers. Okay. And uh, in this mode, the height is relative to the stick position, throttle stick position. Okay. So you find a spot you like, you just take your hand off the stick. Wow. And it'll hold position. So you're actually, let me, can I just do this real quick? Look at this. Look. No hands. <laughs> Fantastic. So in this mode, uh, it has uh, stick relativity mode. So any stick I put the cyclic stick into, it's going to go in that direction. So even if you were giving it full yaw input right. and wanted to go right, it's going to go right. Left input, it will go left. OK. And this is smart mode? This is in smart mode. Smart mode. Straight away. Nope. Coming back towards me. I believe I could see where this would be useful if you were trying to track something. Would that be right? Yes. Well, this is also just for a beginner pilot that is not sure about their uh, orientation. Right. So you don't have to worry about switching the orientation in your mind when you're flying. And uh, you just give it whatever direction you want the craft to go, and it will go. Fantastic. It also has a max height of about 45 meters in smart mode. Right. So it's, your stick input is not related to thrust, it's just right. an altitude. Now we've got my GoPro camera on there and it's recording right now. So you think you may, maybe turn it around, get a screen capture of us real quick. How about that? Nice. Now it is a little windy today out here. I, I believe we have 10 to 15 mile an hour winds, but it looks like the quadcopter is handling it pretty well right now. Yes. It does fairly well in wind. Uh, I wouldn't re recommend filming in high winds, but it, it will hold position in some quite strong winds. So. Right. Okay. Very nice. Now, is it possible to show me one of the other flight modes sure. with the, with the uh, GoPro on it? And right there you see the LED is green. That okay. indicates you're in smart mode. Okay. Uh, we're going to do one flip on the switch. And you can see it switched over to thrust, so now I have full control of the thrust of the aircraft. Right. And uh, this is in stability mode, so I have bank angle control. Okay. But it won't flip over on me, it will just lock at an angle. At a certain degree, and just that's as right. far as it'll go. So you have more control, but still, right. it, it's not really too dangerous for somebody that's a novice pilot, right? Correct. Okay. You have to think about your orientation in this mode like you were flying an actual aircraft. You can still get in trouble. But you can absolutely <laughs> still get in trouble, but yeah. if any time uh, you lose orientation, you can always enter the go home mode. Okay, and that's what you just did? And uh, I don't have control of the aircraft anymore, and it's going to go back to its yeah. start position. Can I, can I hold it and show? Yep. You have Chris, Chris, look here. It's in go home mode. Look at that. So, but. Say somebody runs out in front of you, or if you have a right. fall or something like that, or whatever, you don't want to land there, you can always take back control of the aircraft. That is just so. too awesome. Also, it would also return to home if you lost your radio or right. lost RF just due to distance. And then the other mode, I'm not going to, it's going to attempt with your camera on here. Right. <laughs> but, uh, Probably not a good idea. Agility mode, you, know, you can do full flips, rolls. You have absolute control of the aircraft at that point, and uh, you can certainly put it in the ground if you okay. chose to do that. It flips and rolls well? So yes, it does. How about putting it in smart mode and let me try it? You think we could do that? Absolutely. Okay. Wow, where do you go? All right. All right, so now I can just uh, up and down. Okay, so, ah, that is awesome. So really it's not, I understand now what you said about the throttle, it's relative. Right. Like if I go up, it's only going to go up so high and stop, right? Right. It's pretty much an exponential curve. Right. Okay. So now, oh, let me go over there and get Gary.
That is neat. All right, now I'm gonna turn it. Now I can turn it while it's coming back at me. Correct. Now that mode is awesome. I like that mode. I can see where this would be real helpful for somebody that wants to do some type of uh, aerial photography. Oh look, I forgot. I'm trying to get it in closer and it won't come. Right. It's hit that perimeter. It's hitting a safety, the safe circle. Right. Which is uh, in smart mode will, will not allow you to enter the circle that's projected behind the aircraft when it starts. Okay, all right. Well, I want to go just around the field one time real quick. So now I can just go straight forward. And now if I want to go left, I just left stick. It's like you're drawing a circle on the cycle. Ah, yeah, I'm still confused a little bit because I'm trying to control it like I would a regular quad. Yeah, I'm doing the right input when I want to do left. <laughs> that is too cool. All right, and then I hit the safe zone probably real soon, right? That's coming up very close. All right. I keep wanting to hit right instead of left. Now, that is too cool. This is a fun quadcopter. All right, so let's go forward. Now that's probably gonna make everybody feel dizzy, but I just wanted to try that one time. All right, and then I'm gonna turn it around and just bring it right back. That's too awesome. Now what is what are the flight times on the, uh, the battery pack that would come with this quadcopter? Uh, we've experienced uh, pretty much five to 15 minutes, depending on how aggressive really? you fly the craft. Uh, obviously how much weight you have on it limits that as well. Uh, we've had 12 minute flight times with the GoPro attached. Now, all right, just trying to figure this out here. I'm just having some fun with it. This is an awesome quadcopter. Thank you so much for letting me fly it. I think I'm gonna let you have the sticks and then uh, you can land it All right. and we'll wrap it up. Well, here, just flip that switch right there. Flip the switch. Okay, I'm- All flying. the way down. All the way down, I'm flipping the switch. I'm landing. Hey, check it out. Now that was just- What it's doing is trying to figure out if it's on the ground. Ah, Once it does, cool. it shuts off the propeller. What switch did you hit? Right there, all the way down. That's all it took. Auto land feature. Hey, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for Anytime. letting me try out the 350QX. Now, we're taking that one home with us today. Is, well, are, I think we are. Right, Gary? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. <guy>. <laughs> okay, well, like I said, thanks for letting me fly it. That was a total blast, and I can't wait to get mine. Thank All you right. very much. I think we're gonna fly a little bit more, but for now, we'll see you later on the tube, okay?